nigga, I'll kill you, I'll chop you up, put you inside the mattress like drug money, nigga. Yeah, I done told you niggas nine, ten times, stop fucking with me. I done told you niggas nine albums, stop fucking with me. So I think there is like, <laughs> I think there's seven of them. Wow. And so since you're nine, I was wondering, you know. What's the eighth one? See how well I know my stuff. <laughs> That's the Pyramids of Giza, that's the Coliseum, Great Wall of China. It's Christ the Redeemer in uh, Rio. That's Machu Picchu, that's the Taj Mahal. And that always throws me. This is a mixture between natural wonders and ancient wonders. It's actually, there's only one ancient wonder up here, and there's only one left, is the Pyramids of Giza, but I guess hip hop will be the eighth wonder, I guess. It's a good question though, this is cool. <laughs> I have one of these. Doesn't look like this, but I got a. It's on a plaque, and uh, I won it with Mary J. Blige um, in 2006 with a breakthrough. And uh, yeah, I'm, on the, I'm in the Grammy. I'm an active Grammy voting member, which means I can vote on who wins or not. And, Stuff like that. To be rather than to seem. That is um, the, the motto from North Carolina. It's funny, I don't have a shirt with this on there. I think I should have a shirt <coughs> with Lisa on there. That's nice flag. I know, right? It's my own state. This is Fontaine Poo. This is LB as it stands right now. This is a uh, little brother. A uh, group I used to be in and uh, a classic, make classic records. Yeah. Whoever make classic records, whether I'm in a group or not. And that's Ed Garns. Ed Garns lives in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And those two comprise of the hip hop group Little Brother, a group I used to be in, but Little Brother's now two. The last album they had was um, Left Back, and the one before that was Get Back. And um, they also released a um, mixtape called Justice for All with Mick Boogie. And now uh, currently, Fonte is. Um, doing foreign exchange as they had two albums connected and uh, leave it all behind leave it all behind was um, nominated for a Grammy last year at the Grammys and Big Pooh is working on an album called um, Dirty Pretty Things and uh, both of them doing very well and, and hopefully a little brother album will continue to come out in the future actually this happened the morning we recorded away from me uh, we recorded away from me at 3 a.m. That happened six hours later. We have a nationally protected airspace, so for any plane to get that low, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's something I don't know, it's something up with that. The Stars and Stripes. Um, you know, this. <coughs> <clears throat> and this goes together. If I'm in 2050, well, I'll be 75 years old in 2050, so hopefully I will be like like an old jazz cast out of us. Where it would be in 2050, I don't know. Hopefully it'll be in universities. <coughs> Everywhere. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try to keep on keeping on, man. Like it's the only thing I can do. Like hopefully be doing this another 10, 15 years. Like um, like Premier Premier's in his 40s. Pete Rock just turned 40. Jazz is in his 40s, and they still come over and at a time of their life. So this is one of the best interviews I've ever done. This is crazy. This is a good idea. Emmanuel been paying attention, y'all. Uh, I'm paying attention. <laughs> Jamla and Academy are two the two labels on this a wonderful world. Jamla comes from the name Tamla, uh, which is an offshoot of Motown. 
and I thought Jamla was the offshoot of what's going on in the industry, and that's what Tamla was in Motown. So, and the Academy is more of a label that you know travels. They can travel. They like to travel. Really don't care that much about the radio. Um, if they make the radio fine, if they don't, they don't. They really don't care. Jamla is more. If I ever get any close to mainstream, Jamla would be it. But it would be my mainstream. It won't be the mainstream. It'd be. Just, it's the music would be more polished. We'll be pushing the image more of the artist. We get production from anybody. Um, in phases. Um, high tech. High tech just did two for actual proof. Um, but the production team that that, that outsources to those two labels is uh, the Soul Council.